Hello everyone and welcome back to another book review. Today I'm going to be reviewing volume 22 of Haikyuu, the series that I have been reading by Haruichi Furudate. And here's what the cover looks like. You'll notice right away that it has a very colorful cover. It's the solid red background in comparison to some of the others. I don't know if I have one handy. The other ones have had very, uh, I'll say not, not colorful, but they have these white backgrounds and this one has a red background so it immediately stands out. In my review of volume 22, I'm going to assume that you have passing familiarity with what happened in volumes 1 through 21, or I'm going to assume you do not care if I spoil some stuff that happened. There was a major arc kind of that concluded in volumes 20 and 21, so if you don't want that to be spoiled, if you don't want to know if Karasuno High School makes it through, then maybe stop watching this video or go back and watch my other videos first because I'm going to talk about some stuff that happened in volume 22. So in Haikyuu, in the series to this point, Hinata Kagayama, his team, well not his personal team, but Karasuno High School boys volleyball team has been trying to punch their ticket to the national tournament. They need to get through their qualifying tournament and in volumes I don't remember which volume it started, but it concluded in volumes 20 and 21. They were at their final game with Shira Torazawa, which is the perennial champion from their area. So they need to punch through and beat Shira Torazawa if they want to go to the finals. And it was a very tense battle. It was incredibly intense. It kind of emotionally destroyed me. But, and this is where I'm going to start spoiling stuff, Karasuno High School did manage to get through. They did manage to punch their ticket to nationals and they are going to the tournament in Tokyo. This is a, this is the culmination of all the work, all the training camps, all the personal growth. We had a massive step up in personal character and just character growth and skill from Tsukushima from the Karasuno High School team and it's been really really interesting and good to see and that has kind of concluded. So that wrapped up in volume 21. We have our knowledge that they're going to be going to the national team and I think everyone is ready for a little bit of an emotional break. I will say Haruichi Furudate does a really good job of balancing the intense stressful moments with volumes that are more lighthearted or at the very least less stressful and that is where this volume comes in. We're coming off a huge emotional high or at least an emotional roller coaster and the reader needs a break. The reader does need to step back for a minute and not have an emotional uh, gut punch every volume and just needs a second to breathe before we get into what is inev inevitably going to be an incredibly stressful tournament in Tokyo. And this is where volume 22 comes in. Volume 22 actually does not follow Karasuno High School very much at all. Karasuno High School has their ticket punch, they're going to the national tournament, and now we follow a different qualifying tournament that is taking place in Tokyo, following a team that we have already met and that Karasuno has played against, and that is Nekoma, 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 N-E-K-O-M-A. They are trying to get to nationals. Now in their tournament, there are multiple splots, uh, splots, multiple slots to get to nationals so it's not just one team that goes through but Nakoma does need to beat some teams to make it and this volume follows that team as they're trying to punch their ticket to nationals. I think this is a great balance to what we've been reading in the previous volumes. We've had a lot of emotional highs, we've had some nail-biting moments, we have been emotionally destroyed and now we just want a volume where we can watch volleyball. It's fun. The seriousness is there because we kind of have seen Nakoma before so we do have a sense that we're cheering for them to make it but the pressure isn't there. The team that we're following for the most part has made it and this is just Nakoma trying to get their slot to the national tournament as well. We do get some fun volleyball. We get to expand some of the characters that we've seen before which I think is also a good decision from the author's perspective. These are teams that if they make it to nationals are going to be appearing on the stage and something that I like about Haikyuu is the characters on the court on the other side playing Karasuno aren't just nameless faceless blobs. The author has made it a point to have each of them have their own characteristic, their own goals, their own personality and that makes it very interesting instead of just Karasuno playing wave after wave of nameless high schools they actually are playing teams that you care about that you know about and teams that you know they have their own personal goals and their own feelings and their own emotions which makes the whole series a lot more real so I do think it was a good decision to take a break here because we're still getting volleyball we're still getting the fun action but we don't have the emotional shock of having to witness our team claw their way back from a precipice we don't have to be too stressed about the whole thing and we can just enjoy the series while also building characters that we are going to see because ultimately out of all the teams that are playing here we're building characters on all the teams that Nakoma is playing and some of these teams are also going to punch their ticket to nationals because there's more than one spot in their qualifying tournament to make it there so we do have 
we have an opportunity for the author to show off characters that we know for sure we're going to be seeing again and I think it's going to make the Tokyo tournament uh, to be a lot more interesting. I'm really excited for the Tokyo tournament but this was the volume that we needed to kind of um, de-stress and take our emotions down a level and just read some good volleyball manga uh, while we emotionally prepare for what's coming next. I really enjoyed this volume. I think if you've been reading this series you're going to be ready for this volume you're going to be ready for a break a timeout a breather and that's what this is and i'm excited to see where the series goes next if you have any thoughts on haikyuu volume 22 please let me know i would love to hear it otherwise thank you so much for watching and i hope you have a great rest of your day